hi guys welcome to my youtube channel global health living in this video i'm going to talk about uh, esophageal cancer or cancer of the esophagus uh, please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much my returning subscribers uh, for always being part of the global health family so what is esophageal cancer or what is cancer of the esophagus Cancer of the esophagus is a disease in which cancer cells form in the tissue of the esophagus. So that is esophageal cancer. And the esophagus, to those who may not know what it is, it is the arrow muscular tube that connects the throat to the stomach. And it moves food and liquids from the throat to the stomach that is the esophagus so if one gets cancer in that tube we call it esophageal cancer or cancer of the esophagus so what are the signs and symptoms of uh, esophageal cancer number one is difficulty swallowing if you have difficulty swallowing accompanied with some pain and a burning sensation uh it's very important for you to go and visit a doctor that problem you have can be a warning sign of uh, esophageal cancer. So it is very important for you to go to the doctor and explain what you are going through. To some patients that are developing cancer of the esophagus or who have cancer of the esophagus, they feel like food is sticking in the throat or the chest and they cannot swallow it. So if you feel such a problem, please go to the doctor. And the second sign of uh, esophageal cancer is uh, regurgitation. If you experience something like undigested food comes back up soon after swallowing, uh, please report that to your doctor. It's very important for you to do that. It's normally that hard food usually sticks and it comes back up at first. But if this problem persists and it's left untreated, the patient may begin to bring back even the soft food, drinks and saliva. So it's very important if you have uh, these regurgitation kind of symptoms to the doctor. Maybe you are developing cancer of the esophagus. The third symptom of cancer of the esophagus is weight loss. Losing weight may happen because uh, the patient is having difficulty in swallowing. So they lose appetite of eating food since it's very hard for them to swallow food. Weight loss is a sign of cancer of the esophagus. And in some cases, it comes when actually the disease is in its advanced stage. Another sign of the cancer of the esophagus is pain in the throat or behind the breastbone. If you have that and it is persistent, please go to your doctor. Maybe you have developed uh, esophageal cancer. Another symptom is acid indigestion. A tumor in the esophagus uh, can cause a lot of acid in digestion if the tumor by the valve between the stomach and the esophagus can stop it from working. But it's very important for you to uh, note that acid in digestion is extremely common. And this doesn't mean that whoever has it has a uh, cancer of the esophagus. No, but it can be a sign of uh, cancer of the esophagus. That's why I'm saying it's very necessary for you if you have that problem over and over again, uh, report the problem to your doctor so that you can be checked and find what causes the acid indigestion. Another sign of esophageal cancer is chest pain. Some people with the cancer of the esophagus may experience a pain in the center of this chest or they may feel back pain or shoulder pain. So if you have a combination of that kind of pain, please go to the hospital and seek medical attention. 
it may be you have developed a cancer of the esophagus. Another symptom of esophageal cancer is hoarseness. Having a prolonged hoarse voice may be a warning sign of esophageal cancer. So check with your doctor to find out what the problem is before it is too late. Another symptom of esophageal cancer is chronic cough. A persistent cough or a cough that happens when you try to eat can sometimes be to uh, esophageal cancer. So go visit your doctor to find out what the problem is before it is too late. Another symptom is coughing up blood. Though not common, uh, esophageal cancer sometimes bleed, which may lead up to a patient to cough up blood or to have blood in their vomit. So if you have that, please, please, please run to the hospital. Maybe you have a cancer of the esophagus. Another sign of esophageal cancer is dark poo. A person may have dark poo than usual if the cancer is making esophagus bleed. However, this is a rare symptom of esophageal cancer. So what are the risk factors of esophageal cancer? Number one is age. The risk of getting esophageal cancer increases with the age, meaning the older you grow, the more you are at the risk of getting a cancer of the esophagus. The second risk factor is gender. Uh, many are more at risk of getting a uh, cancer of the esophagus than women. Another risk factor is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Gastroreflux disease increases the risk of one to get a uh, adenocarcinoma of the esophagus. And this risk seems to be higher in people who have more frequent symptoms. So if you have gastroesophageal reflux disease, please go to your doctors regularly so that you can be checked. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Another risk factor is if you have a bullet esophagus. A prolonged reflux of the stomach acid into the lower esophagus can damage the inner lining of the esophagus, causing squamous cells to be replaced with the gland cells. And the gland cells are more resistant to stomach acid, causing a condition called a bullet esophagus. So if you develop that kind of condition, please, 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 Go to your doctor so that they can find a better solution for you before you develop cancer of the esophagus. Another risk factor of uh, cancer of the esophagus is smoking and alcohol use. Actually, the major risk factor of esophageal cancer is the use of uh, tobacco products such as cigarettes, cigars, pipes, and chewing tobacco. If you do that, my friend, uh, you are likely in a long run to develop a uh, cancer of the esophagus. Though not all who use tobacco products get cancer, but it's a risk factor. So another risk factor is our uh, obesity. Uh, being overweight or obese increases the risk of developing adenocarcinoma of the esophagus partly because people who are obese are more likely to have esophageal reflux so what can you do to prevent getting a cancer of the esophagus number one is to to change your lifestyle avoid smoking and avoid drinking alcohol secondly work on your eating habits Eat more fruits and vegetables. This will help you to reduce the risk of getting cancer of the esophagus. And avoid the stuff that are known to cause cancer, such as exposure to different kinds of air chemicals. 
so that uh, you reduce the risk of getting this cancer. Uh, also, taking medicines in case you have uh, precancerous conditions can help you to reduce the risk of developing cancer of the esophagus. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, share, comment, and if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and be part of the Global Health family. Thank you so much for watching.